Hello, Mario. Well, I've just received a little message on Facebook um, of a photograph, and it says how to calculate the adjustment. And I'm going to do a bit of a Q&A. Well, the question is how to, <laughs> how to calculate the adjustment, and here's the answer. So, yes, uh, we've had a, a request for a, a question and an answer, and it's come through on Facebook. And um, so I've got it here, and I'm just going to uh, try and uh, try and answer it. So um, let's uh, let's uh, first of all go to the large screen and see if we can uh, obviously get out of there and get in our thing. And this is it here. And uh, then I want to bring up uh, the the old calculator just so we've got something to work with there, and we'll we'll put that in there like that so there's our calculator now the question is how to calculate the adjustment now in this particular one um, we can see that we've got an adjustment or um, we've we've cut ca they've calculated through that's the total distance there um, they've added up the northings minus 162.48 but over here subtracted the um, the the, this northing from this one and that should be minus 162.45 so we've got to add O3 to, to make these equal so that it all works out so this O3 adjustment has to be applied there and similarly in this one here um, the difference between the Eastings 61.74 and I think that's come in at 61.78. So we've got to subtract 04. So uh, how to subtract the adjustment? We're working to two decimal places here. Um, we can do it using Bowditch, and that's the sort of go-to one. But in this particular one here, it's quite possible um, that we it could actually have been done by what I call inspection. But we'll have a look at Bowditch and see how that works and see how we go. So first of all, um, it's usual that you put um, the most correction in the longest line. So here we've got three. The lines are all pretty much the same. So it's going to pretty much be 0 0.0101 0 .01 in each one. This one here we've got four. So obviously we're going to have 0, 1 in each one, and then we've got to decide which one to put 0, 2 in. And um, obviously that'll be the longest one. Now we could do it by Bowditch, and to do it by Bowditch, um, it's uh, sort of, I'll do this one here. What we do is it's just um, proportional to the length of the line. So we take the correction there and um, go uh, point. 0, 03 because that's how much we're going to be applying 0 0.03 and we divide that by the total length which is 180.68 okay and we push equals and that um, there it is there 3 over 180.68 what's come out as that as a fraction um, or we can do it like that and it's come up like that now what I do is I um, would go, uh, I'm going to store that, shift, store, and I'm going to store that in A. Alright, so then what I do is I go recall A, and then I multiply that by this distance here, 51.93, 51.93. And uh, that gives us point that whatever that there is, which is eight millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go shift mode six, and I want that to two decimal places. So that's going to be point zero one, which is what we've got there. And then I'm going to do recall a again and multiply that by times fifty seven. 0.93 equals and again 0 0.01 which is as, as I predicted and then I'm going to go recall A 
and times 70.82 equals 0 0.001. Now we must check that they add up to 3 because this correction in here must add up to that so that that minus 162.48 plus 0 0.03 gives us 162.45 which is the difference between there and there so then to calculate the coordinates we go 46.68 plus 0 0.01 and so it's, it's that plus a 46.68 plus 0 0.01 will give you that there okay um, oh is it my is that minus that might be a negative there. I'm not sure. Uh, yes, that looks like it's covered up. I've got better. There's a bit of it. There's better ones of these there actually. If you go to the actual answers, um, but yeah. So that might be. That should be a negative there. Um, so yeah, it's. But as I said, it's that minus that plus that, and that'll give you that value there. So that's 77. Um, well, let's just see if we can do it. What is that? value there is that a, a seven or two seven six oh um uh minus i think that's a two seven so uh let's see seven three five four six eight point two seven and then it's minus forty six point six eight and then it'll be plus point zero one equals and then it's seven three five four two one point six oh and then for the next one um it'll be minus fifty four point nine I'm not sure what that is um I'll try that minus minus 54.9 plus 0 0.01 equals 7353 uh, that must have been something it's not not 54 I can't see what that is uh, 366 oh, I took off 54 so I need to take perhaps it's 57 minus another 3 so if we go minus 3 equals 363.71 yeah and and so on like that and then we do the same thing for over here uh, all clear to calculate the adjustment so we go um, 0 0.04 divided by um, 180.68 the total distance 180.68 equals yeah and then we store that in a so shift store a and then recall a and i'll just go times this one here times 70.82 equals and that's where the zero two goes and then if you go uh recall a times um I'll go for the shortest one, 51, 51.93 equals, and that's 0, 01, and the other one should be 0, 01. You do have to make sure that they come out to exactly 0, 04 so that your coordinates come out. Now, these should be generally um, very smallish numbers, not large numbers. Um, so they'll be, uh, you know, quite small. And then um, they wouldn't be large. Anything larger than... Uh, point 0.2 or point 0.3 um, yeah I think you'd probably go back and check um, they would be large they were very large when we did the Travis simulation exercise but that was a different kettle of fish a different sort of thing there so but uh, generally they're in the order of yeah they're not not that large um, they can if you go to three decimal places obviously you, you they're small but you're dealing with bigger numbers so you know like a, if that was say for instance 32 millimeters or something these would be uh, you know quite substantially you know that might be 9 8 and 12 or something like that and that all add up to 31.
All right, so while we're here, we'll just have a little bit of this here of getting the mist clothes sorted. So um, the, the mist clothes, we usually show that as a, a bearing in a distance and what we call a representative fraction um, there in the ra as a ratio or re representative fraction. So what we can see here is we've had to go um, here. We've got O, we've started here. And, oh, well, where have we started? Um, we've got O3, oh, well, the actual bearing there should be um, O3. So he started here, perhaps O3, O4. Um, let me think now. Um, if we go here, yes, that means we've got to go O3, which is up there, and then O4 minus 04 which is out there so the actual um, I would get the bearing of the mist close there is 03 minus 04 which is out here so I'm going to get a bearing up there so um, obviously we can do this by, by Pythagoras this is a 345 so that's going to be a 5 triangle and then we could um, take the bearing of uh, this little angle in here which would be tan to the negative 1 of uh, 0, 0, 004 over 0, 0, 003. Um, but I'm not, uh, this diagram here is not drawn correctly. I think that should be uh, out over there. I don't have any drawing tools available uh, at this moment in time. So that should be out over there, and I think the vector should go there. It should, it should, it should go 03, which is going from here, and then it should come out over here like that. So it should be parallel to that one, but in the opposite direction. So if we work out that angle there, which would be 4 over 3. Tan to the negative 1, 4 over 3. Shift, tan, 4 divided by 3. Close the bracket, equals. And then we hit that there, 530748. Um, and I think it's um, we've actually calculated um, this angle here. Um, so you can see they've taken that off 180. So um, we would take this angle here. It should be taken off 360. So I'm going to go minus 360 equals. And then uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the negative. And there we go, 306 of 5211. Now there is another way that we can do this, which is a little bit quicker, but um, perhaps a little more complicated. And we can, in this case here, we go, um, we want to go from a rectangular coordinate, um, which is 03 minus 04. Let's check that that is negative 04. So that's 78. Yes, we've got to take 04 off that. So, um, we go, um, we want to go from a rectangle to a polar, so we go um, up here. Um, we've got our little what we a pole button here, it is here, shift pole, and then we put in our northing, which is 0 0.03, comma, uh, put the comma in there, which is shift comma. And then we put 0 0.04 and we close the brackets, push equals, and there's our answer, R equals 0 0.05, which we've got there. And, um, oh, oh, look, I've forgotten to put the negative. That should be a negative, a negative 0 0.04 there and it's I can't go back to that and that's why, why this bearing is wrong so I'm going to go shift pole again and get this one right shift pole and it should be 0 0.03 shift comma minus 0 0.04 bracket and equal and that and now we can see we've got minus 53 there so we go recall x and that gives us our distance which is 0 0.05 and then we go recall y and that's negative so we've got to add 360 plus 
360 equals and then we've got to do our thing which is 306 degrees uh, 5211 which is 180 degrees different to that but I think that's the correct answer it goes from there out that way um, it doesn't matter if they're 180 degrees now the other thing we want to do is the representative fraction that's quite easy it's just um, point um, the total distance 180 point six eight uh, divided by um, 0 0.05 equals and then we just push that uh, 1 to 3614 and that's what we've got there and that's it as a representative fraction so there you are we've adjusted it calculated the misclose okay so um, yeah um, I think I'm hoping I'm hoping that's uh, what you wanted. Um, thank you for the question. Always like the opportunity for a question and then I can um, do a video and um, you know, hopefully that keeps the ball rolling. Um, oh, it's only taken 15 minutes to explain that. Um, yeah, and uh, introduce the new one. I've just done a new video on the uh, rectangular dipolar. So you'll find that um, I've put that in section nine of the... Um, on the Moodle course and um, but it's also um, be the latest video or one of the latest videos on my uh, channel Morio channel on uh, YouTube so there you go question and answer cheers thanks for your question always appreciate the opportunity to uh, try and sort out a problem um, I probably learn as much as uh, um, as much if not even more than uh, than you do so cheers see you